He had to do it the hard way again, just like is there on that first point, but really good read on defense on the front of the end zone from Fui. And then nice deep shot. Carmen's in offense, they convert. And as you can kind of see here too, it seems like maybe a little bit of a sloppy play kind of earlier within the game too. Both teams throwing the disc away. Both teams having opportunities to get breaks and throwing those away as well too. Maybe just some, I guess Sunday, maybe just Sunday jitters is a good way of putting it. Yeah, I mean, a decent number of players on both these teams were out quite late last night. Um, the coach of is no good. Was out till 3 a.m. last night. It's a pretty good effort. Along with some of the other players. And what it festivities it was, honestly. Mm. It just part of the windmill hype there. Play, play for Vogel gets the disc. Since Reigns. Reigns to Felix. Bouchon. Bouchon throws it deep. Then the world gets the score, and that's more of the Isno we're used to seeing. A couple of passes up the field, and then just a deep shot down the field in the end zone to convert two to one. Yeah, much more confident from Isno at that point. Looked pretty good. They looked pretty good. Before we weren't really that close to any of those passes. Isno throwing a pull into the <laughs> the front of the end zone set before he gets started around the brick. Sling it around. Force middle from Isno. In front of the end zone. Ooh, and a tough cast right there. And a deep shot coming down, Blady, but it still gets there. Fui waiting around. Throws it back to the sack. And I love the plus one jersey number right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to specify. Could be minus one. If you haven't already, please start your game. Start your game. And it's oh. full extension right there by Fui. Get close to punching it in, too. As they wait, Isno giving a quick poach into that space there. But it's just a tight throw anyway. Fui slash Fui add plus one to the score right there to make it two to two. Nice done by Fui on the front of the end zone. A tight inside break. Sneaking past the Isno defender. And then a busting coverage. Exploited by the big Rolko forehand to that far side. You see right there, Fui just continuing to move the disc along, being patient. What I really enjoyed about that point was how they didn't, most teams you can see, again, within this tournament as we saw before, once they get to that end zone set, they're very experienced, they're very patient, but they don't like to go back as they lose crowd there. Fui was not afraid to maybe take a few yards back, a few meters back, <laughs> and really work along the pitch to see their options and get bigger spaces of area and have different windows to look at. Oh, 
Fui with a deep shot down for the pole. Ryans reels it in. Jafar. And it's oh. attempt away! I would have liked the follow-up layout Callahan, but me as smacks well. it a bit hard. Me as well, as well too. Yeah, gotta be softer on those blocks so you can get the Callahan, you know? Exactly. But Fui, honestly, probably taking their time here regardless. Have great field position right on the outskirts of the end zone for a break. And they turn it. Seemed like a pretty decent cut again from the Fui receiver there, but it just looks like the throw is out of reach. As Vogel goes to pick up the disc, and Isno have another opportunity to hold. Yeah, a bit of a let off for Isno. So we see a deep play from Fui on this host deck. Moving those up to Jafar. Jafar fakes a deep look. Looks back to win. Ulysses throws it to win, but it's overreached. Fui right back in the red zone here. That is a break for Fui, the first break of the game to go up three to two over Isno. And a few turns by Isno, uncharacteristic by them. Yeah, it's surprising to see from Isno. I thought after their, their last low point that they got things figured out, they were gonna start firing, but no, that's not it. That's that's two pretty cheap turn away, uh, turnovers for Isno. It took Fui two chances, but break's a break. It is a break. A break is a break is a break. And again, maybe just kind of the atmosphere, I think, is influencing maybe some gameplay. Just to get a little bit sloppy here and there from both teams. Some miscommunications that usually would be connected, as you can see from last game. Isno climbing all the way back, down from 6 to 2, get it 6 6 on Universe Point, and then going on D line against Clapham and getting broken. I guess held there <laughs> to lose seven to six. And then Fui was up eight to five yesterday against the Moon Catchers. Had to go down to Universe Point again at 11 11, and then lost to Moon Catchers 12 to 11. So both teams might be just gassed here from those semifinals. And also the Swiss draw tournament style we've had. Yeah, a lot of games this past few days. It's Vogel. Doesn't get the disc cleanly at first, lets it bounce around, but throws a clean disc to Jafar anyway. Oh, so smart. What a poach in the lane. And Fui hammered. Oh. One hand snag, cool, and that's another break for Fui to go four to two. Wow. Wow, indeed. Pretty clean, maybe a three Xer in our books here. And again, the X is. It's just an old TV way of rating on a scale of coolness. Maybe some things that look pretty dope to us. Mm. And it looks like maybe Isno's taking a timeout here. Yeah, smart choice. I believe so. Isno's heads look a bit low. Let's talk about that block. Because Isno had an option coming under in the middle of the field. And the the three four like horizontal stack setup allowed for the defender, the free defender on the middle the middle handler to he wasn't being looked at at that point, to just take a look in over their right shoulder, see that that IO um, forehand shot was going into the middle of the field. And because the, the disc was being floated out in front of the uh, cutter who was coming under, they could just take two steps upfield, intercept the pass, no problem. And Isno got to be kicking themselves a little bit because that's not really the proper handler positioning. 
in that space. And also, leading the disc out that far to an undercut, which it should be hitting in the gut, is inviting those poached blocks. So really good heads-up defense for Fui. And I agree, Luca. That's an excellent analysis, too. And just, I mean, yeah, honestly, there's nothing else to say. <laughs> I think you nailed it exactly on the head. Yeah. So if you want to avoid that in your own games, as the middle hander in the host stack, don't stay directly in line with the thrower. If they're looking downfield, you want to take some steps back and make your defender commit to either the poach or marking you tight. Don't let them mark you tight and be able to step off to a center pass. And as you saw, if they do, and they have the opportunity, what just happened there will happen again. Close. And that is going to be taken to the brick by Vogel here. The handler set between Vogel and Reigns. Going back to the third stack. Felix with the throw, or the catch, excuse me. Looking at Vogel, Vogel halfway. Back to Felix. Felix gets a throw a little high, but it's caught by Ulysses. Back to Vogel. Continuation pass here to Bouchon. Bouchon throws it a little low and a little inside. But it looks like it's a foul called. As we see here in the comments, yes, that is correct. Joe White is not playing after suffering a knee injury. A little nag here and there in the game against Clapham. So he'll be sidelined this game. Also, Americans don't believe in Constellation games for some reason. <laughs> Can confirm that. <laughs> Can confirm that. With Shock's playing. Shock, Shock, is, Shock gets it. Shock is out there. Let's take another look. We still see some players kind of maybe looking at the VAR screen here. Yeah, Defender does get to the disc first, but does also give Becker a bit of a bosh on the way through. So. The disc is thrown back, it looks like. Contested call, yeah. which at that point I believe, you know, if you can't come to a conclusion, might as well just throw it back and resume. Contest seems reasonable. Control throws it up to Van Der Rohe. Back to Vogel. Van Der Rohe. High for Bonchon. Is he going to get there? He does not get there. And that's got to hurt a little bit on the turf. The artificial grass. Yeah, just rush that throw a little bit. Slightly off balance on the release. Fui with an opportunity here at the beginning of the end zone cone for another break to get their third. We can Isno get a stop, right the ship after the timeout and get a hold. Only time will tell. And a fake. It's down deep, trying to get position. And it's a bit, but it's almost there. It gets just at the fingertips and right as Almost 99% of the catch is complete. The last percentage just slips away. So close. Pretty remarkable anyway. I didn't know if he was going to go for the bit or not. We're glad he did. Oh, yeah. Free hits play. So third different offensive look from Isla we've seen this game with the split stack. Valdewell throwing it, running deep. Had some separation between them. But Bouchon throws it out of bounds and now decides where it comes in at. Four feet. Yeah, isn't his offense just not clicking? They keep trying different looks, not happy with any of them so far.
In the previous games we've seen from Isno, they've been pretty happy to stick with vert stack for most of the game and the, the occasional horizontal stack. But this game, they don't seem confident in any of them. It just looks like maybe some passes that cut. They have some undercuts come that work, but after that, it just looks jumbled, complicated. It doesn't flow as easy as again we know from Isno to flow. Fuir seems like they've woken up for the past couple of, uh, I should say, earlier points too. As now they look to break for the third consecutive time. Ooh, some fakes. Make it work, and that's a third break for Fui to go five to two. And Isno finding themselves in a different but similar battle as they did in the semifinals, where yesterday at this time against Clapham, 20 minutes in, it was still nil-nil. But they had a big deficit to come back from six to two, and now they're four to two down against Fui within the 21st minute of the game. Yeah, this is an impressive start for Fui. I must say, watching their warm-up before the game, they, they did not look that fired up. Like, Isno were, were doing lots of reps of end zone offense and playing you know, pretty, pretty intense defense for a warm-up on those sets. But I feel we were just sort of chilling on the sideline, throwing about, doing some sort of runny-throwy drills. Now, here we are. Fui are fully fired up. They they want this win. They really do. And I got to solve the third place open division disc as well too. And it looked really cool. So I mean there is some silver to still be worn here. Like you said, most people, <laughs> especially most Americans, think the third place game is just a consolation game. But you can see Fui really want it here. We have Dumbo. This is the fourth offensive look we've seen from Isno, going for a dominator set now. This is Tineko. Simon, right above Nico, and that is a smackdown by Fui. Slings it down, what a power position throw. Fui getting better position there. And can they go for their fourth break? This looks like a foul is called here. Wow. Anytime Isno make a mistake, Fui are right on them. And now they're looking more polished as ever too. Oh, a rare mistake from Fui rather than the end zone. And it's a chuck down deep to Simone. Can he get there? He can get there. And it's right outside. Isno looking for their first point in a long time since two to one. And they convert. And that is four to three. Get right the ship up a little bit and stop the bleeding after three consecutive breaks. Yeah, nicely done from Isno to recover. It was a errant throw that turned the disc over for them the first time. And then Fui gave them a bit of a gift in that shot to the end zone, just throwing it behind the receiver. And then Isno did not want to mess about running their dominator set again. They just chucked it deep and converted the short field with some patient offense outside the end zone. And even there as well, too, I believe Going back to that end zone set for Fui, I actually really like the decision there. I think it still worked. They threw the pass back to open up the window. The window was there, just an execution error. The pass right behind as Isno were right there to defend it. As you can see here on the replay, the open was there. It was just right behind. If they throw it to the cone, that's a score. Another one, another break for Fui. Regardless, Isno closing the gap here, trying yeah. to get it four to five instead of three to five but they have to break against Fui who looks pretty hot right now Let's see what Fui can do on offense some might say the Fui offense is a little little cold here after not coming on for quite a while I might not be some of those people 
Oh. And it's not some of those people as well. With a sky. And that's Fui going up three to six to double the lead there. Wow. What a way to respond to being broken. It's just a deep chuck down field. And a smorgasbord of players here, really high pointing that disc. Catching it for the score. Impressive. And not being broken, stopping the D-roll. Yes, because <laughs> again, it is yeah. nowhere. Trying to ride that wave of momentum there. And Fui getting it in maybe two passes. Shuts that down a little bit. Yeah, they hadn't been out on offense for a while. But didn't seem to make that much of a difference. Make it look really easy. Well, the throw never really sat out in front of the receiver. It was a bit of a trust shot. But what a receiver to trust. <laughs> it looks like to pay dividends there, too. And sometimes you give, again, those trust throws are 50-50. That was maybe one in 25, as there was four people in that stack. It still comes down with it. It's fully ready to pull down to Isno. The disc is high, and it sits perfectly. And Isno has some work to do as Fogel gets the center disc. Becker. Back to Vogel in power position. He's going to sling it. He slings it downfield. And will they get there? Travel call two throws ago, though. Travel called in an unfortunate landing there. Just an injury here. As both players look to go for the bid. Gets up under his own power. But it looks like it's somewhat of a head injury here. It's just one of those cases of two players bidding into the same space. Kind of at the same time. Looks like the disc will go back to Becker. Travel called on that first throw, and then enough people stopped that. It kind of negates the throwaway right there from Isno, giving them a golden second chance. As you see here, both players look decently all right, but it's a turn anyway. Very tight upline shot to Vogel. See where they wanted to go there, and it was just unsuccessful. It's Fui with another opportunity to break. Ooh, left handed snack there to ensure that catch. First to the cone, first gonna win. Fui with another break, and that's three to seven on the board. What a response from Fui. They're just all over Isno right now. They really are. And even here, too, it potentially could be a break for half to go 8-3. to three. I mean, again, I know this is not the game either team wants to be in right now. And it's not the best conditions as last night. I think everybody that was camping out or even just in a hotel could hear the thunderstorms and the rain coming down on your tent or even outside your window here. But... Fui look energized. Again, after a couple of rough points here, they look like they want to win this game. Yeah, Fui are hyped right now. Isn't they look a bit dejected? Their offenses looked good for maybe 80, 90% of a point, and then something goes wrong for them. A throwaway, a tight shot blocked by close defender. Like you said here, maybe two, it might be different, a different strategy for Isno, throwing out different lines, maybe seeing what lines stick here. 
Still trying to give their best, of course, but maybe players that usually don't play together, I believe. Get maybe some Sunday jitters coming early out, waking up earlier after a fun night and also real bad late night storms. Simone throws it for Fritsch. Shock picks around. Back to Simone. Throws it up. Compre. Braith, and it's almost a close poach there. Let's snag it out. Simone throws it down deep. Wow. And that is an is no score for a hold. And that's Simone just continue to work around that point. Gets the score, and Isdo up four to seven. But still a mountain to climb. Yeah, some tight defense from through that point. They're real close to a couple of those passes. But Isno's dominator offense is probably looking the best out of all of the looks that they've shown so far. Managing to work it down the field quite nicely. And Unlike how the Dominator that we see in, in the US at the moment, they do look for those big yard gaining underpasses to the deeper players. The, the more uh, strict Dominator style that we see in the US, they typically try and go the whole length of the field before throwing to their downfield players. But Isno taking the shots when they come and making it work, hitting the tight gaps in the end zone for the score. It really is, and again, just you said maybe this is the look against an athletic Fui team. If we are looking to hold here, Isno maybe gets their first break. Is Fui looking around too? And as we desperately try to call players' names for Fui, it's a little bit more difficult here as the roster only has one player. And it looks like that one player has a different pair of shorts, so we don't even know if that's <laughs> what one player on there. Nonetheless, Fui are still working around here. Their O-line's coming out, really working up this boundary here closer to the cameras. Oh! And it's down, the O-line for Fui. Turns the disc and Isno potentially have an opportunity here. <laughs> Jube throws it down deep. Both players very close to each other, running that disc down. Turnover is signaled. Uncontested offensive receiving foul. You see with Fui back with the disc here, the whole pitch of the field to work with. But it seems like they're most comfortable chucking it down deep. What pace for both receivers to get down there. And now is it going to be an S cut in the back? It looks like it's well defended here. Nico shutting it down. We said here, Fui really not afraid. As so they take it back and look for more space to optimize. Optimize, excuse me. And a miscommunication, there is a throw away. And Isno have another opportunity to see if they can break. Fantastic defense from Isno on the end zone line. Free looked a little bit timid in their movement inside the end zone. Never really felt like any of them got free, even for a tight shot into the end zone. Is no not out of the works yet. They have the whole width of the pitch to go, the whole length as well. 
They're slowly working it up there. That's all that matters is they can complete passes. To continue, and it's a deep shot here again. Is it gonna get there? And it gets there, and that's an is no break. To recoup the score back to five. Is no take one of the four breaks against them. It cuts down the deficit here, not allowing Fui to go into the half up eight to four. Yeah, Fui saw that deep shot coming, but the switch call was maybe just about early enough, but was not responded to early enough. And the help defense in the backfield just did not get there. Isn't there, run it down. This is more like it from Isno. Really solid end zone defense. And then a clean conversion for the break. It really is. It seems like like this is what we know is new to look like. Looking more kind of within their style of play here. And it looks like too maybe Fui. We can see a little bit of kind of a bright spot within their team too. Maybe a weaker spot, I should say. A bright spot for Isno, a weaker spot for Fui in that O line. You know, trying to just rush decisions in the end. So that's like about what, maybe three times the O line has thrown it away there? For especially in the red zone? Yeah. To Team Quill, like a prop. Dugan looks around, finds one of the handlers. Discussion here, maybe some contact on the throw. Uncontested foul is the resolution. Working within their end zone here. Again, not afraid to push the disc back. They're playing with fire. As Isidore seeming to get some motivation here, getting some energy, finally finding their way within this game. Really making Fui work here. And it is a pick called. One of the first picks this game. They've been very clean so far. Again, I hate to keep comparing it <laughs> to the last game, but. In the Clapham game, Isno maybe had a call, a pick call every other possession. Now yeah. this is the first one of the game. It looks like it's going to try to get back to Ridlow up line, and they do. Ridlow looks, chucks it down deep, and it looks like it might be a 2v2 again. Trusting some defenders, boxing out, getting space, and it is a score anyway. Novak reaching up high, and that is a hold to score, 8-5. to five. The rest of the players in the field looking a bit stunned. Honestly, it looks pretty stunning to me. I like a no call in that situation. A lot of players going up, just really trying to box out, get position there, but it's anybody's disc. And Novak just apparently had more legs at that moment. Yeah, it looked like a pretty clean grab. That's a get up huge, though. Really? So you see here in the replay. Just the contact that allowed the start of the play. And it looks like here, communications. If we want to do a two minute halftime just to continue to get the game rolling here. I'm gonna talk now to Isno to see if that's gonna uphold. And it looks like it is. So we're gonna have a quick halftime here to continue the game rolling. Airplane in the back.
Again, after a round of quick halftime break, as the players agreed upon both teams saying maybe a two minute instead of a five minute here, just continue to get the game rolling. We are just about back. As we're trying to see here, trying to give an update about the women's bronze game. We do not have an update as the scores are still waiting to be processed here, but once we know, we will definitely communicate it out to everyone in the stream here. And it looks like actually it's fabulous leading over in Relata's nine to seven. Fabulous being the Swiss national champions last week, as we saw here in Ulti TV, putting on a great showing, had a great tournament, but a tough loss yesterday. It's chucked downfield again. Riedel going down himself, usually in the handler set. Novak again. Bang, bang, pow. Fui up nine to five. What a way to start the second half of three. Confident offense. Slotting it in, no problem. No problem at all, indeed. Just look maybe just to have two quick passes. Centering pass, pass across the field here to Riedel. You see Riedel's a Novak in the end zone. Easy GG that point. Fui hands are up. Is there hands are up? But it looks like a false start here. That's all right. No need to apologize. We're ready to get the game rolling back too. And now the disc is flying high. A great pull from Fui. Marines get to the disc into win. Back to Reigns. Wins receiving it. Throws it up line to Jafar. Jafar throws it deep down. Reigns using the hands like going deep. Bouchon makes a ham, makes a scoop, makes a look. Back to win. Ulysses, Van der Wolde throws it back to Ulysses. Van der Wolde cutting up line, can't get open. Great handler defense by Fui there. Jafar getting a tough grab. Still lots being signaled. Retracted, maybe? I believe that's the hand sign there. Looks like a stall retraction. Yep. Jafar with the disc right on the touchline. Throws it back to Vanderwild. And now is no restart. Oh, anyway, fantastic layout there. Just not enough as Patrol still has the disc. And it's a pick called. It's a monstrous bit though. Very monstrous. Again. The ground here is not the soft grass we've been streaming all weekend. It is AstroTurf. And it's unforgiving <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, it's fine if your form's good. It is, it is. And that form was good. You saw him slap, slap the ground, get right back up with no hesitation. As the disc continue to move around. Felix with the disc. Throws it back to win. Vanderwold. As an option, Fui's defense right here in this end zone set is really spectacular, as Isno has to really work for it. Great switches.
looks like it's almost there, but just too much as Reigns gets the score, and that's Isno six, Fui nine. Wow, that was some impressive defense for Fui on the end zone line, though. Multiple just extremely clean switches on defenders who'd maybe overcommitted to one option or another. Teammate immediately there to back them up. But Isno do find the gap. Stay impatient. Be really cool right there, too. Check within the Windmill app as they have all the updated scores, live rankings, and everything along those lines. As Fui throws the disc away on offense, you know, with a rare mistake, it looks like a hammer over the top. And Isno capitalized. Shot commanding in the handler set here. A low throw, but it is caught by Udufal. Pick call in the stack. And it is a oh. score from Finch. And that is a is no break. As they slowly chip away back into the game. Nine to seven here. But we still lead. But that's not <laughs> what they wanted to. Yeah, it's no working up. They've had enough of trailing in this game. They want to get it back. It looks like around 9.50. We might have time to say this could be a, a comeback. Could be. We need to get it going now, though. It just looks like here, Fab is up in the women's division bronze game here, 10 to 9. The mark was so close to getting point blocks on those last two break throws from Isno. They really were. Fine margins. And Izzo getting ready to see if they can add another break. Still got two more to go before they can get back to surface. from sideline to sideline. And it looks like it's a deep shot, and it is a deep shot. Some space and a few options here. So it looks like a 2 on one and it's an easy chuck and score. And that's Fui there converting 10 to seven. That looks a bit too comfortable for Fui. His nose so never really got close. Not at all, they made him switch the disc side to side and Fui had a bound, or excuse me, a deep shot down the field with some separation and then just a 3v2 there. That worked greatly in their favor. Yeah, nicely timed deep cut off of the swing from Fui and then good hustle from the rest of the receivers to just get down there and give Fui a numbers advantage, which they convert. As we continue here and watching this great game, maybe a potential comeback for Isno or a potential third place win for Fui. This is all allowed by our Patreons. As we want to give a special thank you, we had hit our goal of 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and we continue to grow. 
please allow us to continue our journey and be a part of that journey as you can donate for four euros a month, which is about a pint of beer, maybe a croissant or so a month, and it allows us to produce great games, have excellent commentary for myself and Luke, and also great production as we have an insane amount of cameras today. It's amazing. Is there a throw the disc back? Fui right on the boundary line. And is a pick called? Another very cheap throw away from his nose, just right into a slightly poaching defender. He didn't have to do an awful lot to reel that one in. This is not what his nose O-line needs. Not at all, as they're coming staggering back to lose one of those breaks at this point in the game. It will be tough to come back from. Fui don't care about all of that as they look for options. And it's a catch, and that is a break for Fui and a vicious spike in the end zone. Fui go up 11 to 7. Quite impressive there. Like maybe some Fui supporters in the stands here cheering on the team. Isno asking, are they ready? Hands are up, they are ready. Fui ready to go here. And a, a fabulous pull. This looks like it's gonna doink right in front of the end zone. It's a catch though by Isno. And they continue to go here. It's Finch, so it's a shock. He gives it to Nico. Those are back to French. Nico. Simone. The disc is tapped back in. Is no trying to get it within the red zone here. Shock lays out for that one. It was inside, it's a little behind, but it's still grabbed by Simone. And that is a score for Isno. Escompre comes from behind and gets it to make Isno up eight to 11. But they still have some work to do as we go back on O-line. Yeah, nicely done from Isno. They needed that hold. And they do well to punch the disc through some tight free defense. We see this bit from Shock again. Pretty routine grab for a player of Shock's caliber. But impressive nonetheless. It's just really sliding across the pitch there, honestly. They're getting the throw just a little bit high within that tight window. Is there still allowed to grab it and make use of it? It is up in the air, and we are ready to go for point 19. Ridlow. Throws it down deep. Receiver had to adjust there, but Fui can get up. And they still can get up. And they still can score as it is 12 to 7. Some great sportsmanship there 
I'd say great job after there, but Fui, after it looks like maybe three passes, make it all the way down to the end zone again. Fui have looked so good in the air all game long. We see here again, no sun in sight. Also, not much wind here. It's just very cloudy at the moment. After a lot of rain last night, thunderstorms. <laughs> the weather seems not to really affect the pitch as much or the play. Just a little bit colder than usual. Than we were used to, I should say, the past two days. Yeah, pretty comfortable conditions to play in, but. A little colder than I'd like for commentary. So I'm to say, got two sweaters on and pants in the middle of June. Before we chuck it down there, pretty down. Shock throws it to Simone. It is a turn. Fui right along the end zone, trying to see if they can break it. They broke it, and that is 13 to 8 for Fui. They are rumbling their breaks here as well, as they had four breaks in the first half, and now add two more breaks in the second half for a combined six breaks to Isnos 2. Right there <laughs> again, not many passes. It looks like Isner just gives it. What a beautiful roll across the pitch. Anyway, it got distracted there. And yes, that is a great question. We will be streaming the finals as well, all three finals. So now, coming up after, we have the mixed bronze game. Then, after that, we have the women's division final game, then the open final game, and then the mixed final game to end our stream here. So, five games today total. Brought to you here by Ulti TV. So three were complaining yesterday that they hadn't been streamed all weekend long. Uh, now that they've had that opportunity, they are putting on a show for us. They really are. Again, coming out, flying around. I know some people were yelling at us yesterday, too, asking why we didn't stream them for the semifinals against Mooncatchers. But both games were coming down to the wire. It was really impressive stuff there. And like you said, Luke, Fui Riley getting their time to shine here. Vanderwill throws it around to Jafar. Win. Ulysses. Looks off win, throws it to Reigns. Reigns with a cheeky around to Becker. And they swing it all the way around to Ulysses. Close. But Becker. Vanderwald. Looking for options here. Ulysses. Vanderwald. Jafar with the score. And Isno take it up to nine. Nine to 13. Fui still leave. Good work from his note. Just working it down the pitch, running the system.
As we see here, that is correct. As we had mentioned before, Joe White is not playing after suffering a nag in the knee from the last game in the semifinals against Clapham. Taking a rest here. We repeat, Joe White is not doing more of a coaching role as we see encouraging teammates after points going on the lines. And Isno pull it down deep, but that's out of bounds. And Fooley will probably elect to take it at the break. And they do, with Relo having possession first and getting this position started. Slight defense from Isno at this point. I love the plus one number here for Bowie. Please go. Throws it up. They continue to bounce it around. Crash looking around for Lee Rillo. Not there, though. Husek throws it to Novak. Novak around to Reed Lowe. Fui right back in red zone, but it's a turn, and it's a turfed throw. It's no, get a turn with an opportunity for a break, but they have the whole pitch to go. Yeah, the pressure was building from the Isno defense, for the entirety of that possession. And it finally gets too much with an unforced throw away. Let's see what Isno can do on offense. See Nico come back with the disc. Oh, and it's a drop by Isno. Simone catching the disc, maybe looking, excuse me. Devold catching the disc, maybe looking at options before ensuring the disc, and it is a drop here. Hammer by Reedlow, and it is a catch by Fui. Throwing it back into play for celebration, and that is 14, Fui is no nine. And Fui right on game point here. The mistakes from Isno Good, heartbreaking. Second dropped clap catch in a row. And Fui punish. So we see here, this is the turn disc to give Isno an opportunity, but then just an incomplete error of a drop here. And a hammer, small hammer from Meadlow in the end zone. And Fui looked to see if they can take home the third place medal at Windmill in Amsterdam. And as this game is winding down to its conclusion, don't go anywhere as we have a little bit of a break in between games. And we will show you the mixed finals, or the mixed bronze game, excuse me, the third place game, I should say. And that should be exciting as well. Oh, yeah. Jafar throws it down deep. Demo there. Oh, but it's just over his head. And Fui, well, an opportunity to break for game. Uncontested foul on the catch. So, Isno will retain possession. And I believe that's a good foul call there. Inhibited the position. Some contact in the back. And Isno have an opportunity to hold. And it's a drop anyway on the goal line. Close defense. Fui again with an opportunity to break. And this is for game as it goes across the field. Can Jafar get there? No, he cannot. And it is this guy. And it is a score. 
Bowie take a break and they go home with the bronze medal at Windmill for the first game of the day here. As they say, great teams win on a break. Fui looking dominant for the entirety of the game. And they finish it off in style, getting a block in the end zone line and going the full length of the pitch in almost one throw. And both teams here, again, so close to having a game within the finals to play for, but just that step away. And Fui take it personal as they come out scorching hot, 15 to nine and really bring it to Isno. They've been dominant just about all game here. Isno had some sparks of brilliancy, but overall, Fui just earned it more. They wanted to play out here. They brought the intensity and just had some fire. Yeah, great work for Fui. They very much looked like they had something to prove, and they proved it. So thank you ever so much for joining us for this Open Division bronze medal match. Plenty more Ultimate coming out for the rest of the day. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back very soon. TV.